The 76th commemoration of the bombing of Darwin began at the USS Peary Memorial, where dignitaries, locals, and interested parties from around the world gathered to hear the story, lay wreaths, and talk about the fateful day in 1942 when Australia was attacked. After the ceremony, there was some time to reflect, then it was a short walk along the esplanade to the cenotaph, where the major ceremony was held in the presence of Her Honour, the Honourable Vicky O'Halloran, Administrator of the Northern Territory. Speeches were made by Mrs O'Halloran, His Worship, the Lord Mayor of Darwin, Mr Con Vatskalis, and the Honourable Michael Gunner, MLA, Chief Minister of the Northern Territory. When war arrived at Darwin on this day, 76 years ago, it arrived at the ancestral lands of the Larrakia people. And here they too toiled, fought and died in the defence of their country. I pay my respects to Larrakia people. I pay my respects to the Yulnu clans of Arnhem Land, where subsequent raids and dogfights brought bombs, fire and death. At Milangimbi, the Japanese strafed our ships, shot down our fighters, and blew holes in that ancient island with 60 kilogram shells. New Australians and first Australians died at Millingimby together as they did here in Darwin. I pay my respects to the clans to our north on the Tiwi Islands, that place where Matthias Unguru broke from his hunting party to capture downed Japanese pilot Hajime Toyoshima. Matthias, who, like all his people at that time, was not recognised as an Australian citizen, turned the butt of his axe forward to simulate the muzzle of a gun. Pressing it into Toyoshima's back, he said, stick him up. At the unveiling of Matthias's statue in Warramiyunga, the Tiwis performed the bombing of Darwin dance, now a part of their ceremonial canon arms outstretched as planes, bodies on the ground as wrecks and the dead. I pay my respects to the many hundreds of Aboriginal men and women who worked along the overland supply road, to the people from the Barclay and the Red Centre who welcomed troops and refugees, the Chinese Northern Territory pioneers who, despite discrimination, joined the armed forces to defend their home. I pay my respects to the people of Catherine, Batchelor and Adelaide River, who also suffered raids during the Northern Conflict. I pay my respects to our United States brothers who gave their lives in our defence. Like the first Allied casualty of the Northern Conflict, Robert Buell from California. His body and his Kitty Hawk remain off Bathurst Island in the internal embrace of Matthias's people. He is forever 24. Close to half of the 235 who died on February 19, 1942 were American. The alliance between our great nations started in World War I, but was forged right here in blood and sacrifice and in the defense of our home. It is right here just over at Robertson Barracks and on these streets every Anzac Day that our continuing alliance is manifest so publicly and proudly. It is right here our alliance will forever endure publicly and proudly. I pay my respects to the Australian Defence Force personnel who defended this city. Brave men like those here today, Merv Fox, Jim Yellen, Basil Stahl, Alf Jones, Merv I. Thank you, gentlemen. I pay my respects to the civilians, men and women who stayed to do their jobs and the many who died. To all the people of the North, wherever the bombs fell, from the Exmouth Gulf in the West to Townsville in the East. And I pay my respects to the people who returned to rebuild, 
who lifted Darwin from the fire and rubble of war when it could have been easier to throw it in and stay south. It is for them and their courage we have this amazing place to live and raise our families. Ladies and gentlemen, today our former enemies are among our closest friends. I pay my respects to the families of the 186 Japanese warriors who died here doing their job just like our warriors were doing theirs. Those 186 Japanese men are still out there, like the 80 submariners who remain forever entombed in the I-124 just off the coast. The other men are scattered with their wrecks along our beautiful coastline. Like the people of Turkey honour and guard our diggers forever at rest in the soil of Gallipoli, so will the people of the Northern Territory honour and guard the sons of Japan at rest in our warm and blue sea. This day is about paying our respects. It is about remembering the dead, remembering the sacrifices of this day 76 years ago and the subsequent bombing campaigns. Because in paying our respects and remembering, we see all we have lost. We see all that we have, we see all that never was, and we see all that must never be again, lest we forget. A theatrical depiction of the events that took place in 1942 was staged, complete with air raid sirens, gun and cannon fire, and aeroplanes flying overhead. Wreaths were laid at the Cenotaph in memory of the fallen. <laughs> <laughs>